Aloha beautiful people. So today we are doing another vlog and it's like almost 10 a.m. So I've done a few things today that I haven't vlogged, mainly just like making breakfast and I did a little bit of work on my laptop, which is not fun, but I'm about to head to the beach and I think I'm going to spend the rest of the morning and I think I'm going to spend the rest of the morning there reading a book and journaling and just like being creative, letting my creative juices flow, walk on the beach a little bit and just have a good time spending my day at the beach or the morning. Um, I have a client in a couple hours so I probably won't be there like all day. We'll see what happens. What else? Um, my roommate is letting me use her car, so I have a car today, which is fucking awesome, and I'm really excited. The sky is the limit when you have a car and you can go anywhere. So yeah, let's let's adventure. Let's see what this day holds for us. I really wanted to get some proof that I'm putting on sunscreen. My mom would be so proud. I never wear sunscreen. Like, I've worn it only a few times since I've been here, but my face gets really red only on my cheeks. Oh my gosh, I, got, I put, I got way too much sunscreen. Um, like, my high cheekbones and my little nose get pretty pink. So I'm putting on some sunscreen. Just for you, Mom, if you're watching this. So proud of myself. Of course, it's natural, reef safe, good stuff. I would not use any of that harsh, crazy stuff on my face or in our ocean. I'm too mermaid for that. It's another beautiful day to be in Maui. I'm on this beautiful beach. The water is so blue and gorgeous today. I hope you can see it for all of its beauty. So I'm just drawing um, some mermaid cards from my mermaid deck and I'm drawing a card for the people that signed up for my membership um, accounts on my website so this is kind of a little announcement I now have a membership um, I now have a membership account part of my website where you can sign up to be a member and you get specific member private content and I'm talking about a lot of things um, with self-love and freeing the wild woman is the theme this is gonna go hand in hand with the podcast I'm creating but yeah, this part of my website will have specific member-based content, guided meditations, stuff about self-love, rituals, um, recipes, and podcasts that are specific for the people who are part of my membership account. So if you're interested in that, for the next few days, I am drawing a mermaid card for everyone who opts in. It is $5.55 a month to be a part of the membership program and get the membership specific content. Um, angel number 555 is my favorite angel number because it's about transformation, change, and rebirth. And I think it's such a beautiful way of being an alchemist. When I see 555, I think of alchemy and transforming and like the phoenix rising from the ashes. So that's why I picked that um, offering of appreciation price. So if you feel called to be a part of this membership group, we are also going to be doing a new moon ritual this coming new moon and it'll be on Skype and you'll get the link to that if you sign up for the membership accounts and yeah, I am so excited to bring this offering to the table and be able to express myself in an authentic way where I'm sharing content and I really hope you see the value in this and you like it and you're ready to explore more of the wild woman because this is going to be like next level deep and from my soul and heart and vulnerable and giving information that's really useful so yeah i will put the link to sign up for that in the description box if you have any questions you can leave a comment on this vlog and i will get back to you but yeah i hope you decide to join the rising
All right, so I'm leaving the beach, but I'm stopping at Mana to get something to snack on and a few little produce groceries I need. I'm like out of groceries in my house, so I have to stop and get a few things to tide me over until the farmer's market, which is Saturday morning. So I'm gonna pop in there real quick and then I'll be on my way home. All right, so I just got home. I got various things at the grocery store, including this cookie and these spring rolls which I was really craving and is like the whole purpose of that grocery trip but I wanted to show you real quick the book I'm reading Buffalo Woman Comes Singing and I just started it I read like 10 pages so I'll have to keep you updated but the white buffalo calf woman has been like presenting herself in my life over and over and over again and I went to Barnes and Noble to look for a book to um, get for my flight home I'm leaving Maui for like a month and then I'm coming back with my boyfriend and my dog. So excited about that. Anyways, I was looking for a new book and I just went to kind of browse and then I saw this book and the cover really caught my attention and then it was Buffalo Woman Come Seeing about the Buffalo Calf Woman. Not necessarily about her but she is an influence on the book and yeah, so excited to dive deeper into this book and keep you updated on that. But for now, I have a coaching call very soon so I'm going to make a peanut sauce and eat it with these spring rolls. I'm so excited. All right, I'm making the sauce super simple by putting just a little bit of liquid aminos in here and then like a spoonful, like a almost a tablespoon of creamy peanut butter. And that's all that's gonna go in the sauce. All right, I added a dash of water to the sauce and so now I'm just adding a little bit of red pepper flakes and that's gonna be my dipping sauce for my spring rolls. Yum. Okay, just dipping my spring roll in the peanut sauce. How good does that look? Let's get close up. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So good. This giant cookie is so good. It's like donut-esque. I really appreciate it. All right, so it's about 4.45. So I've been working since like one. And that's all I've been doing. And I think I'm about to go for a walk. Um, I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'll probably have like a little snack. Go for a walk, come back and make dinner, watch a few episodes of my favorite show, which is Anne with the E on Netflix. Love it. This is like my third time watching it over, but I just, I was craving it. I was craving it. So I think I'm going to go for a little walk, maybe do these ab exercises I've been trying to do because my back has been hurting so bad. It's like so bad. And I realized that when my like core is a little tighter, I don't have as much back pain. And a lot of it has to do with like having such large breasts and the way like I curve my shoulders and like kind of slouch and stuff. So it's a good like preventative measure for me to take. So doing like a 10 minute ab exercise a few times a week helps me tremendously. So I might do that when I get back, maybe stretch and do a little bit of yoga before I make dinner and try to go to bed around like 8.30 tonight or nine because I want to wake up in the morning and go film the sunset. I mean, I wanna wake up in the morning and film the sunrise for a video I'm making. So that's the plan. So let's just, let's go for a walk. Real quickly before I go, I wanted to say, I don't know if you experience this where like you do like a certain amount of stuff in one day, maybe it's not as much as you thought you could get done and then you like feel kind of shitty about it and like want to beat yourself up and be like, oh, I didn't do this and this, like maybe I'm lazy, maybe I'm slacking, maybe I'm not like putting enough effort into what it is I'm doing and like it's such a bullshit thing but it's just like this ingrained mentality from our society that like you have to hustle and you have to work harder and you have to do more and all of this stuff that's just like absolutely not true quality over quantity right but it's just the weirdest feeling that I'm feeling like guilty about the work I did today even though I'm progressing every single day and I want to feel good while doing it I don't want it to feel unsustainable 
So the whole entire thing of me feeling weird about it makes no sense anyways. But that's what I'm feeling right now and I wanted to share it because I just wanted to say fuck that. Fuck feeling that way and just that whole mindset in general. Yeah. It's not right. It's not true. I need to move in a way that feels good for me and so do you. That rhymed. Who am I? Maui is so awesome and so crazy because like there's so much climate <laughs> going on here. You have the beach, you have giant pine trees. It's just like so much. Isn't this beautiful though? So I am here and I am going to walk for a little while and just enjoy some music and some fresh, beautiful, purified air. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. I'm walking down this place to get to something pretty magical and cool. I haven't seen yet, so... Well, there's supposed to be a spring down here, but obviously there's not. <laughs> it's still beautiful though. I'm not exactly sure how long that little hike was, but it was little. I'm sweating so bad. I don't know if it's the elevation, but like the way down wasn't too bad. The way up got me good. Um, wow. <laughs> it's so beautiful though, like. And this is what I did that absolutely destroyed me on the hike back up. I am still sweaty up a storm. Whatever this means. In my defense, I did walk um, like half a mile, little loop before I did that little up and down hike. <sighs> All right, I'm leaving the forest in all of her majesty. I will see you when I get home. Bye beautiful forest, thank you for allowing me to trek in your presence. This view though, that's the ocean way over there. Oh, so gorgeous. Maui has my heart. I'm about to eat this huge ass plate of spaghetti with hummus on it. And then after I eat that, I will probably eat the rest of this little cookie that I didn't finish earlier. This is a huge plate of spaghetti, oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't you love when you're starving and your eyes are like huge and your stomach's like hopefully huge as this plate of spaghetti? Some beautiful cotton candy skies. So gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So if you want to be a part of my membership um, account on here and get the membership only content, you will go to membership account and join the rising. Then you will be able to sign up right here. And after you're signed up, you can go to membership account and then freeing the wild woman and you will see the membership only content. Right now, um, I have this post up, crystals and rituals for anxiety, de-stress and relax. And then this podcast right here, which is unlearning and redefining for the wild woman. So that's available on my website, autumnbrand.com. If you join now, you'll have access to the live Zoom chat I'm gonna do on the new moon for a new moon ritual, which is gonna be super fun. As for me, it's nice and late, so I'm going to edit this video, watch a few episodes of the TV show I'm watching, and take a shower and do the dishes and go to bed and hopefully be asleep by 9 p.m. so I can wake up early. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. I hope you decide to join my membership account on my website. It'll really help me help support the, the content I create. And yeah, you will get amazing content from it. I promise. Thank you for being here with me. I love you so much and I will see you again very soon.